How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm gonna do how to do 30 more push-ups in a row, a trick. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, DylanBerg999. So if you guys know I am a personal trainer, I do help people um, train, get bigger muscles. I do help them with uh, push-up programs as well. A lot of people want to do more push-ups in a row, some for the military, because a lot of times you go to the military, you are graded on how many push-ups you can do. So there are easy ways of increasing the number of push-ups you do. Just simply for the fact that most people, like I would say 99% of people that do a push-up do it incorrectly. They don't do it incorrectly. There's just a couple things they don't do. And the things that they don't do um, cost them 10, 20, 30 push-ups easily. So the people that I train that want to do more push-ups in a row, like typically the person that comes to me, they're like, I wanna do more push-ups in a row. We see how many push-ups they can do. And typically it's anywhere from 20 to 30, which is pretty average. Average person should be able to do about 20 push-ups in a row. After like 30 minutes, an hour of working with me, I can get their push-ups up to 40 to 50, no problem. So what happens, is you have to treat a push-up like any lift, if you will. If we're tr if, if we're talking about a squat, a deadlift, um, a bench press, those are movements that are performed when we power lift. I power lifted for about six years and I competed in competitions. Everything about power lifting is about keeping tight. Areas that you are not tight in, that's where you lose pounds. Pounds come off the bar, you're losing lots of weight. Uh, because you're not staying tight. It's literally about staying tight. Everything has to be flexed. So when I'm doing a bench press, my calves are flexed, my hamstrings are fletched, uh, flexed, not fletched, flexed. Um, my chest is flexed, my triceps, my abs, my glutes, everything. The same thing is when you are doing a push-up. Nobody does this. When you are doing a push-up, your abs should be contracted really hard like you should be flexing the whole entire time imagine someone's about to punch you in the stomach what would you do you would flex your stomach that flexing that you're doing right now you need to do that the whole entire time you're performing the push-up same thing for your glutes your butt you need to be contracting your glutes the whole entire time a lot of people when they do a push-up their push-up is kind of like this this is how their back looks it's kind of the arms are here and then the butt is a little bit higher when you contract your glutes and your stomach, your back is literally like this. It's basically straight and you're in an amazing starting position. From then on, how tight you stay throughout the whole entire movement is how many push-ups you can do. There are people, that's why you see people on the internet that can do like 200 push-ups in a row and you're like, whoa, they're not very big. They don't have that much muscle. How are they doing this? It's because they have good form and they've practiced their technique. So contract your stomach, your abs, contract your glutes. Just doing that, you should easily get 10 more push-ups, easily. If you start practicing it, 20 to 30 push-ups, easy, no problem. Um, how many push-ups can I do in a row? Most I've done is 120. So I can do a lot in a row. So end of video, thank you so much for watching.